you struggle with whether or not there's something actually wrong. Um, you get indications from people around you that maybe something's wrong. In my case, it was my family who was telling me that maybe there was something else. PTSD is something that somebody can't see. If I busted my arm and I walked in here in a cast, you can see that there's something wrong with my arm. But you can't see that injury. So it's hard for people to understand that it exists and how severe it really is. I mean, there, there is a lot of disagreement over various aspects of PTSD. Absolutely. And probably one extreme, some people say it doesn't exist at all. Right? And I welcome those people to walk in my shoes yeah. if they believe that it doesn't exist. I, there was a point where I didn't think it existed. There was a point where I thought that my, my colleagues who were claiming to have it were full of it, that they were looking for a cash out or they were looking for a way out of the military. It was their exit strategy. And now that I've been through all of this and I realize how severe this is and how much of an impact it has on people and the fact that many people have taken their own lives because of it, because not understanding what it was, or having any treatment, anybody who believes that this isn't real, maybe they should pick up a rifle and join the Army and go into one of these places and find out what it does to you. The, the main thing that Michelle and I worked on was a checkpoint where I had a 12-year-old with an AK-47 pointed in my face, about an inch or two away from it, screaming at me in Swahili. I don't speak Swahili, he didn't speak English. And there was a whole series of events that happened during that time frame that was one of the hardest parts for me to get past. It, when, you, when you heard Jim talking about panic disorder and PTSD, um, that's where we started. So um, the things that he said were interfering most in his life, uh, like, like many people with PTSD, were um, you know, avoidance and intrusive thoughts, um, things that kept coming up that bothered him. So, um, so our treatment plan is really informed by those those symptoms. It's, it's well, challenging yeah. to revisit a traumatic event. Right. You know, when you when you come to a therapist and the only thing that you want to do is forget that something ever happened. Um, and then I'm asking someone actually to lean into it and to and to talk through it with me. Um, that no one wants to do that. Um, so what Jim described he was able to do is is to kind of make that leap. And he, he did lean into it and he, he kind of let those emotions come and that when I see people be able to do that, if they can, if they can allow themselves to have the emotions and stick with it and work through it, um, uh, then usually it goes really well.